with Shanghai Disneyland opening on May 11th. What does that mean for Disneyland here? I'll tell you what it means right now. What is up everyone? Welcome to this episode of Damien Does Disney, which is also known as D3. In this episode, I'm gonna give you an update on the possible opening dates of the Disneyland Resort. For those of you who are new to this channel, welcome, thanks for your support. I know you guys have a lot of other options out there to get your Disney fix, I really appreciate you. And for those of you who are already part of the D3 family, welcome back to the ride. All right, everyone, like I said in the intro, the Shanghai Disneyland Resort has recently opened, which is amazing news for the Disney parks. In particular, that's great hope for the Disney parks here in the US. But however, although the Shanghai Disneyland Resort is open, it has opened with certain restrictions. Some of those restrictions include, well, number one, you need a reservation to get access to the park. And number two, there's no walk up uh, people. You cannot walk up to get into access into the park. And number three, you need to wear a face mask. In addition to having to wear a face mask, everyone that enters the park will have their temperature checked. As for the ride vehicles and the uh, ride queues themselves, all of the ride vehicles and queues will have the social distancing measures, which is like six feet apart, which is pretty amazing. And in addition to that, all the rides, all the rides at the end of the queues will have hand sanitizing devices. Now, those are some very interesting guidelines that they are implementing over at the Shanghai Disneyland Resort. Now, I'm very sure that they will probably be implementing most of those guidelines, if not all of those guidelines, for them to reopen a Disneyland park here in California and also the Disneyland Resort in Orlando, Florida. Now, here's my question to you guys. If they were to implement those guidelines, in particular to have a reservation system to go into Disneyland here in California, would you guys want to go? And another part of that question is, if they use them, how long would they use it? Or I should say implement it. Here's my answer, I think, my educated guess. I think if they were to use that um, reservation system they would implement that for at least for the first couple of months to regulate the crowds, you know, which is pretty not bad at all. You know, hey, to get the park open, do what you ever have to do, whatever you have to do. Now, before you get upset with me, let me explain to you why I think the reservation system is an excellent idea for reopening Disneyland. The number one reason why I think the reservation system is a great idea for reopening Disneyland here in California in particular is because the majority of the people that go to Disneyland in California are annual pass holders. You know, they can regulate the crowd like that, you know. Hey, you know, they may sell out within minutes like they did over in Shanghai with the tickets and things like that. It's great for crowd control, you know. Also, you would, that would eliminate people way beyond waking up at the crack of dawn just to try to get into the parks to get access to the Rise of the Resistance on Ride Queue. That'll eliminate that, I believe, as well. In addition to the Rise of the Resistance on um, Ride Cube, they will have additional Ride Cubes for like Space Mountain and all the other popular attractions. So people will probably, you know, I don't know, not want to waste their time, you know, trying to experience Rise of the Resistance. They might want to try to, you know, experience one of their other favorite attractions at the time. You know, so I think that's a great idea and it also will help the park operate much more smoothly. Now, if you guys didn't know the capacity of Disneyland here in California, the capacity at Disneyland is 85,000 people, and the capacity at California Adventure is about 33,000 people. So that's roughly about 118,000 people on a busy day. That's like on Christmas Day in Aurora during like Christmas week or something like that. So if they were to reopen the park with limited capacity, I would say pretty much here in California, you know, this is gonna probably open in phase four. So they probably open it with uh, limited capacity, like about 25 or 30%. That's roughly about what? 85,000, like probably down to like about 35,000 at Disneyland to like 17,000 over at California Adventure, which is roughly about what, 60,000 people on, on property at once, which is not bad, which is like an average day, which I think is really good. So, hey, wherever to help um, the park run more smoothly, I'm for it. Another reason why I think implementing a reservation system would be a great idea in particular for Disneyland is because you have a better chance of bringing back the shows and other forms of entertainment like that, like the fireworks shows and the world of color and fantastic. Again, you'll be able to control the crowds. You could probably have like, if you're going to view, certain viewing areas, you know, you might have people 
over watching fireworks over by Fantastic, or heck, you have people watching fireworks over in Galaxy's Edge, you know, things like that. People were able probably be able to spread out a little bit more. You have a much better time, you know, in particular for the restaurants, you know, when they do reopen the parks, you know, as you know, the restaurants will probably be at limited capacity. The sit-down restaurants will probably be at limited capacity as well. And I'm pretty sure, you know, the uh, quick service restaurants will have limited capacity. And you can probably count on it, it's gonna probably be cashless as well too, which is not a bad option, you know. You know, money has germs, but hey, cash is king. But hey, you know, in, every, you know, in an effort to, you know, get people back in the park, hey, like I said again, the reservation system is awesome. If anything, folks, just take all of this information as a grain of salt. I repeat to you guys that Disney has not yet made an official announcement of when the parks will reopen yet. In particular, they have not made an official announcement of when Disneyland will reopen yet in California. To give you guys an idea of possibly when, just an educated guess, of the earliest time that Disneyland may possibly reopen with the guidelines here in California, Earliest time I will leave would probably be mid to late August, or if we're lucky, I will say in September in time for Labor Day. In other news, I am happy to report to you guys that they have resumed construction on Avengers Campus over at California Adventure. That's amazing news, folks. As you know, the Avengers Campus was supposed to be open, um, I believe, July 18th, but of course, during the quarantine, that got delayed. Hopefully, it'll be open later this year when they reopen the park, whenever that happens. And also some other good news over at Disneyland, they have also resumed construction on the new Mickey's Runaway Railroad, which is supposed to open at Disneyland in 2022. Now I would like to hear from you guys. If they were to reopen the Disneyland Resort through reservation only for the first couple of months, would you guys still want to go to the parks? Feel free to leave a comment below. This should be fun. I recently posed a similar question on D3 Twitter saying, asking the question, if you guys would go to Disneyland if they reopened with reservations, and overwhelmingly, 100% of you guys who voted said yes, you would still go. Well, that's all the news I have for you guys this week, folks. And as you know, news is breaking every day. There's something new every day coming out about the Disneyland Resort, either if it's over at Shanghai Disney, or the Disney World, or even here at Disneyland. News is fast and furious these days. Like I said before, I'll try my best to have the news for you. Thanks again for watching, folks. Remember, if you like this video, go ahead and click that like button below. More importantly, if you like me, go ahead and click that subscribe button below and become a member of the D3 family. And last but not least, remember to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and also on Twitter. See you guys soon.